had one more day on the river, and I was really hoping to see another Jaguar before I had to leave this place. Project, Jaguar Identification Project. Yeah, that was and cool. And she's going to talk later about this with you. Okay. It is a very important project. We have a several cameras trapped around the lot. It's always uplifting to spend time with guys like Eduardo, who are genuinely passionate about the conservation issues they are working to resolve. Oh, yeah. Amazonia, Amazonia. For example, uh, they introduce soybeans. Mm. And the plantation here, another area, another area the soil is weak. Uh. They introduce grass, they introduce cattle, mm -hmm. they deforestation, another area. We need uh, to have uh, research for reuse the land for soybeans for more years. Right, sustainable. Yeah, because if they destroy thousands of hectares each two, three years, Amazonia gone. Gone. Everybody living together in this like a condominium. Big condominium, that mm -hmm. nest? Each hole, they are a couple. Oh, each hole is a couple. Wow. A monk, parakeet. Monk, parakeet. <laughs> they don't like us here, huh? No. They came to protect the nest. Yeah. Big building on the other side was for for the school. Uh, I give a piece of land for Michigan University to make a school. They made the school there, but and the, the government uh, don't help us with transportation. Bring children uh. from Porto Jofre to here, cost a lot of money, and they also impossible to go to the school in the rainy season. So oh, rainy yeah. Lot. And then now this Pantera made the school there for for local local children. Eduardo was very proud of the Pantera schoolhouse here in Porto Jaffrey. We had heard so much about the school's success during our stay that we were eager to see it for ourselves. This is the new Pantera schoolhouse behind me. They're in session right now, but when they get out, we're going to meet the children and the teachers. Eduardo believed that education was one of the most valuable things for a Pantanario child. And this guy, this guy here, I know them. You know them? They are, they are uh, natives, they are from Pororo tribes, natives oh, wow. in Pantanal, like me. Like you? I am Pororo too. They say, we are the same tribe. Wow, that's cool. So when you take, when you come to the Eco Lodge and you take all these different boat tours, the money that you pay for the boat tours directly comes back to them as far as food, diesel to, for transportation to the school, and whatever supplies they might need, like books, and that's the stuff you can see here, televisions, laptops, and all that. Did you see her? Oh, here's the classroom. All right. Upon talking to this teacher, I was humbled by how much she has done for her students. Thing is, how long has she been doing this? Four years. Four years? Four years. Cool, four years. 28 days and the three days off. Wow. Just eat. So she lives in a city that's hours at the end of the Transplantaria Highway. And she has a family and she leaves her family and comes here 28 days out of the month with only three days off to teach these kids. So she comes from the city all the way to the jungle for most of the month to teach these kids. Pretty amazing. The natives who are living near the river because easy transportation and the easy food. They use canoe for transportation and the fishing. Fishing, for, yeah. yeah. Now, the several tribes divide because if you contact with white people, mm. they come here and they are married with the natives and they split. And then they disappear. Yeah. I had a pretty good feeling we were going to see a jaguar today after spending time at the schoolhouse. We went to a section of the river that we had yet to explore. And it paid off. So we got a female who has two cubs. Unfortunately, it looks like she left the two cubs in the jungle to come out and hunt. But we still got the female. Hopefully we catch the hunt.
National Geographic film crew was on the river with us, and their guide spotted her. Tracking Jaguars with the National Geographic crew. Couldn't be any better than this. That's a pretty cat. I had the privilege of following her as she scanned the riverbanks for signs of prey. I was impressed with how comfortable she was with all the boats around. Our presence did not seem to bother her at all. This was definitely the closest I've ever been to a large predator before. She briefly went inland, so Eduardo circled back to cut her off at the pass. We later learned that this particular jaguar's name was Juca, and she had featured in Planet Earth, too. After watching her fish in the mangroves for a few minutes, we decided it was best to let her continue her hunt without any further disturbance from us. We watched one last time as she disappeared around the bank.